Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to provisions Office 365 custom learning site. So custom learning site, it's a SharePoint communication site um, that it gives you, it gives your, your end users the learning, the online training courses, which the content is pulled by Microsoft. It's uh, Microsoft Contents, and it's it's available for you for free. It's available for all the Microsoft um, Office 365 tenants uh, client. I'm trying to find here. Um, so actually, it just it's a it's a training site. It should look something like this. If you click on Office Training, Office 365 Training, it gives you all the training related to Office, like Office, um, Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Teams, etc. So, in order to provision the uh, custom learning sites, you have to follow a couple of steps here. First of all, you need to be a global admin. Second of all, you have to create an app catalog. And then you need to create a custom learning site. And last, create every, give everyone access read or read access to the site. So make sure you're global, you are a global administrator. I'm going to verify my account. Okay, I'm going to copy this. Oh, I don't need that. Roles is global administrator. So that's the first step. The second step, you need to create an app catalog. I need to go to Admin Center. And then go to SharePoint Online. For me, in order to create an app catalog, I have to go to Classic SharePoint Admin Center. Click on Apps, App Catalog, looks like the App Catalog was created. I just want to, um, I think I created it last night. All right, looks like I already created an app catalog, so I won't be able to show you how to create it. Um, so it would look something like this when you don't have an app catalog created yet. It would look something like this. It create a new app catalog. You want to give it the title of the app catalog. You can call this anything you want. Um, or we'll just call it app catalog. And the website address. You can call anything you want as long as it doesn't exist. The name is already exists. So you can just call it app or app catalog app catalog the language choose your language choose your time zone administrator you want to give yourself or add yourself as administrator here or any other administrator a global administrator um, to the here and then civil resource 
I would I leave it as default you can um, it doesn't have to be you don't have to make any changes to this one once you add all the information you can just click OK it take about 20 30 minutes for the pro process to go through once it's finished you should you should when you go back to add catalog you should see something that looks like this so that is step two to create an app catalog. Step three, let's provision app catalog. I'm sorry, let's provision a custom site, custom learning site. You can go to this link here, or you can go directly from here. Once you're in here, you can go to provision custom learning site provision custom learning and you can click this link here so this link will take you to the same location as this link aka.ms slash get cl I can just copy this then you can just paste it here So here's the step. Here's the prerequisites. Prerequisites here. So to create, let's go to add to your content. So make sure you check this box. Click accept. You don't have to check uh, consents on behalf of your organization. Let's see what's the difference here. But I go ahead and check it. Click accept. Notification email, once the site has been completed, it's going to send it, uh, send you an email that tells you that the site has been completed. So here's the custom learning URL site. I'm going to copy this. It's going to be slash site slash 0365CL. You, for this one here, you can name anything you want, but for me as a default, I'm going to take it as a default and click provisions. Provision. All right. I'm going to confirm provision of your template has started you will get an email from SharePoint when a new site is ready for access oh, here's my site this is probably going to take about 20 to 30 minutes uh, let's see I'm I'm gonna let it I'm gonna let it do its job and come back and check later. Let me see if I receive any email notification. Nothing yet. I'm gonna pause the video and we'll come back once the site has been provisions. All right, let's go ahead and check um, my email again. As you can see, I received an email that my 
custom learning site has been provisioned and it's completed. Let's go to the link. I'm going to copy this. I'll just click on it. Here's my custom learning site. If I click on Office 365 training, it's going to load the training. And here's all the products for the training. For example, let's click on Microsoft Teams. And here's the video. Quick start, introduction to Microsoft Team. So all these contents will get updated automatically by Microsoft. You don't have to worry about um, maintaining the contents. If you want to customize, maybe create your own video, I would just um, click on edit here. Or let's create a new, page, a new um, document library. We'll call this test. Click on new. You can create new document, new word, new folder. So let's go back to my um, learning custom learning site. Let's create a new page. Let's so click on edit. You can customize um, the uh, page details here. So that's the um, the third step. The fourth step, you need to grant everyone access, read access at least, in order for them to see the site. So if I follow this instruction here, here's the instruction to add everyone <coughs> uh, read access. It says from the SharePoint setting menu, click on site permissions. Let's see. Go back to home. Should be um site permission. Don't remember. Let's All right, click on this gear icon and then site permissions. Advanced permissions. Grant permission. Click on share with. Oops. Oops, I'm in the wrong place. Let's go back to here. Site permissions site members or site visitors.
inside members none let's share site i'm going to type everyone search everyone except external users you can send email to everyone or you don't want to if you tell them that the site is available i'm not going to send i'm just going to click add so everyone have read access the close close so these are the four steps that's it that's how you um, create custom learning site thank you for watching and if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel my channel will cover office 365 azure active directory configuration manager or SCCM or anything related to applications deployment windows deployment thank you for watching and have a good day